election is very expensive there. If you are using, say, two billion to conduct elections in another state in the southeast, you will use about ten billion to do that in another state because of the nature of that state. It's a cash-driven state. I mean economically powerful and vibrant state in the southeast. What do you think is what's the influence of godfatherism? How powerful is godfatherism in a number of states? You must have godfathers everywhere. You have it everywhere. You must not stop, begin and does stop your with party, another state. Does so, your party have godfathers? So many of them. So many of them. You have people it depends on what, you, what you're talking about. Do you believe that about. godfatherism is hurting the democratic process of this country? You, no, I don't think so. Because you have it all over the world. People must support you. Before you come out for any elective office, you must have some people that, that you know, have got the experience that will be behind you. Not because when we talk about godfatherism, people think it's just dropping money for you and then seizing the entire state when you come up. No. These are men that have made it. And what they want is just good governance. Somebody that will protect them. Like, in, like I told you, I said a number, I said cash driven state. So issue of security is very important in our state. So they are worried about who is going to be there because our people must, if you know the tradition of our people, culture, our people, they must go home December. They must go home in Easter. They must go home during the New Year Festival. And these are big time traders who move cash. So when you're electing somebody who is going to be their number one security officer, they, they will be interested. They'll be interested because They'll I be know interested. that there are three senatorial yes. votes in mm -hmm. a number of states. Yes. As, as huge as mm -hmm. that state is, it has only three uh, uh, senatorial zones there. I know it's three, uh, no matter how big you, you it, are. Uh, if, if we have this zoning as one of the uh, uh, deciding factors of who becomes the governor mm -hmm. uh, in, 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 on November 18th, if we look at the zoning formula, in whose favor do you think that this will swing? Possibly the APC? No, as I speak to you now, the major political parties have their, their, their candidates from the north, from the you know, northern senatorial zone. You know, oh. And it's structured that way so that um, in the interest of peace, justice and fair play, move it around. Okay, let's get mm. the thoughts of our, uh, if you are to Okoye, is the National Publicity Secretary of ABGA. He joins us uh, via telephone. want to thank you so much indeed for joining us at this time. We're trying to get you on Skype, but unfortunately, uh, that line doesn't seem to be coming through. Tell us more about uh, your preparedness. Anambra State and ABGA, anywhere you mention ABGA, the first name that comes is Anambra State. Uh, Anambra State. How well structured and prepared are you counting down uh, 18 to November 18? I must tell you that um, Africa, you must appreciate, has been on ground for over 12 years now in a number of states. And it has had a lot of impression on the people. There are local factors, I must tell you, upon which the foundation of the party was built. From Outside, you may not understand these factors, but, but these factors are both cultural and religious. That is why we always say that Africa is not like the usual political party. Africa is more like a movement for the people, and the people's determination to ensure that this platform, which remains the sole and only existing platform upon which the evil man can express itself in Nigeria, doesn't die. So I must tell you that in this election, it is beyond the question of electing or re-electing the governor. The major interest of the people goes to ensuring that APCA as a political party remains relevant in the scheme of things in the national politics. And that is why you see the level of interest, the level of participation, and the large crowd of people that move with APCA. But I will assure you that the result will be very shocking. Nigeria. But your, your party, permit me to just uh, butt in here, uh, my apologies. Your party, uh, ABGA, uh, 
have you been able to resolve those perceived infightings in your party that we saw a couple of uh, uh, on the build-up to this to this very point where the, you're going into elections? I must tell you seriously, and I say this with any sense of responsibility. There is no infighting within the person. The character who has tried to make a turn and taken over the leadership of the party has always done that from our side. He's never been a member of the party at this point in the last four years. He's not a member of the working committee. He's not an officer of the party. So it is like somebody outside the house has throwing stones on the field when within the house the people is at peace. We are certainly at peace with ourselves and we don't have a problem within ourselves. Okay, uh, Mr. Fiatu, uh, please, Mr. Koya, uh, my, my apologies, I'm afraid to tell. We're going to have to take a very short break now. And when we come back, we'll still uh, go through with you just so that you're able to articulate, finish up on your point and look at how the development and uh, preparedness is towards uh, the elections on November the 18th. Stay with us.